Hi there, this is Michael Lichter, again for Dennis Kirk. We're in a... Uh, it's hard to say, isn't it? Yeah. Mountain? Mountain View? Mountain, Mountain View. View. What state? Arkansas, I know oh, that There we one. go. So we don't know, right? This is, we just got in, so we don't know where we're at. But this is so cool, because Max won an essay competition. He's one of three people won a competition that got them free entry into the motorcycle chase, and it got them a motorcycle to ride and their hotels. I mean, this is just so freaking amazing. But I want to hear Max's words, so tell me about it. I'm kicking myself still. Yeah, um, a pinch here and there? The whole time. It's so, been a week-long pinch. Unbelievable. And you, he, Max is racing. I hardly get to see him on the road because he's like first or second yeah. in the day. What class are you? I'm class one. Okay, tell us about yeah. the bike. So this is a, a 1950 Moto Guzzi Falcone. It's a 500cc single. Um, the flywheel on the other side is exposed. It's kind of neat. Four speeds, which is good enough for these hills. And original paint, too, which is kind of neat. So, Moto Guzzi is not too common around here. I think it's first... Uh, we've had a couple before, but... Yeah. It's the only one on the chase. And um, not many Falcones are in the U.S., I believe, either. Um, I ride a Guzzi at home. Uh, a 75 wow, how, E50T. How awesome is that? Yeah, it's pretty neat because uh, Jake, Connor, and I are all on the same uh, makes that we ride outside of the chase, too. So it's kind of neat that I'm on the Guzzi and I'm a Guzzi fan and owner myself. Now, one thing I'm fascinated by, A, you're 22 years old. Yep. You just graduated Loyola University in Chicago in May. Yeah. And you have a degree in history. History, yeah. And I think that is awesome. I love history myself, and photography has a lot to do with that. But you were saying something about motorcycles and your interest. Yeah. Um, I, I like the history of motorcycling and uh, mechanics, and it's a great way to tie a lot of my interests together. That's unbelievable. And you got a, a long life ahead of you with a lot of history to be made on these things. But yeah. some history was just made, I think, when you pulled in. Yeah, so Connor uh, asked me if he could borrow my adjustable wrench. So I walked over to the bike and I saw some people poking around looking at it like they often do. But they were a little bit more curious than a lot of the other people I've seen so far this week. And I was introduced to them and we got talking and realized that this bike here was sold to someone I know by where I live in Chicago. And it traded hands and was donated to me. But the guy looking at the bike was the son of the original owner. Well, let's bring him in. Now, yeah. Of course, this is loaned to you. Fred, loaned, yeah. Fred Wacker, who's not here, he loaned you this bike, right? Exactly, yeah. Which is awesome. Now, let's bring Sam in. Now, you ever sat on it before? Many times. Yeah, when was the last time you sat on it? Probably about four or five years ago. Cool. And when was the first time you sat on it? Uh, probably about 20 years ago. So tell us about the bike. This is a bike my dad picked up out of a museum out of Sturgis, Mississippi. And uh, this is my... Uh, Late father's everyday rides. Wow. Used to ride it to breakfast every day. And well known in this area. Just everybody. Just the sound of it. They knew it was dad coming by. Yeah, but we're in a little town here. Yes, sir. I don't understand. Nobody knows we're coming. This is not advertised. So how did you find this bike? I was actually standing outside our shop. And a slight breeze went by. And next thing you know, I seen the other bikes going by. But then this one came by by itself. Told me to chase it down. It's Dad's. So, it's an honor to see it again. That is, I mean, that's, that's something else. Yeah. It's an incredible story. Thank you for showing me. Thank you. It's all about history, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Like, this is history it right is. here. It is. Yep. Sam, thank you for... Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. Come on, talking with us. Not a problem. Wow. I mean... Amazing stories every day in the chase. We hear amazing stories. History is being made here, and that's what this is about. That's what motorcycling is about. That's what these old bikes are about. So I hope you keep tuning in. This is Michael Lichter for Dennis Kirk. I have to thank Chris Callen for running the camera and being a pro. Look at our pro microphone, finally. So that's awesome. So thanks very much to everybody, and I hope to see you tomorrow again. Thank you.